Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome to the third day of my week featuring Waffle Flower. Here is the stamp set that I'll be using today. It's a really unique stamp set with beautiful designs that you don't find uh, easily out there. It's called uh, Wild and Free and uh, you can see that you can create your own composition of flowers and uh, leaves but uh, there are also wild animals to match the sentiment. So I am going to stamp on a, a white piece of uh, cardstock. I'm using my Misty to do so and uh, I will be creating a compilation of all those images. So mainly I'm using the one that has the deer as well as uh, the sentiment and I am going to use the two leaves, the eagle at the top and uh, the sentiment as it is says wild and free but uh, there are also little words that you can complete uh, the sentiment so I will stamp the word be on top so that I end up with be wild and free. I am closing the door of my Misty. I'm going to use my powder tool, make sure that there is no static electricity on my piece of paper and then stamp with Versa marking. Today I'm going for a very simple design but at the same time I am going to try and make it very elegant. And when I am making elegant cards I try to keep everything monochromatic and uh, I am going to use gold embossing powder today with a gold card base. So I am making sure that I have stamped everything correctly. I am going to stamp once again just to make sure that I have enough embossing powder everywhere. And now I'm going to go ahead and use my embossing powder. I am using the gold uh, embossing powder by Nuvo. I'm going to apply enough on my paper, tap the excess off and then use my heat gun to melt everything. Now as I'm doing that, just to let you know that there is a giveaway on my blog, so for a chance to win the stamp set that I am using today, make sure to visit my blog and enter your details. So here is how my panel is looking at the moment and since this is so simple I decided to add a touch of uh, dimension and uh, more interest on my card. So I'm slowly going with my craft knife around the leaves on both sides and this way I am going to be able to lift up the leaves and add a touch of dimension. You only have to follow the lines and uh, following the lines in this case is really easy because they are raised by the embossing powder. So this is how my leaf is going to look. I'm going to use my fingers and uh, add a curve on that leaf. And I am going to repeat the same process for all the other leaves. This way I can lift up all the leaves from my card. Now the only tip that I can give you for uh, this technique is to go slowly and do not add too much pressure. It's better to go over and over again with your craft knife by applying a little bit of pressure each time than uh, adding too much pressure that uh, might uh, turn your craft knife in uh, areas that you don't want it to go. And here is a closer look on how my panel is looking after lifting up all the leaves. Now to stick this panel on top of my card base I am going to use some foam tape at the back. I am going to peel off the, the backing and uh, I am going to stick that on top of a card base that I have created. The card that I have created is a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. It is a top folding card and you can see the beautiful gold shine. Now this comes from a pack of papers that's by Tonic Studios. The pack is called Harvest Gold High Gloss and that's a different pack of uh, gold papers than the one that I used on yesterday's card since this one is like a mirror card while uh, the other one that I used uh, yesterday was uh, more of a satin finish, a matte gold finish. So this is how my card is looking at the moment. You can call this card done or if you are like me and you want to add even more details, uh, you can go ahead and add some dots. So I'm creating my own dots, gold dots, with this uh, Nuvo product, which is going to finish my card. A very simple design, easy to recreate, but at the same time it looks so elegant. And that was the card for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me a thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to visit me tomorrow for another card featuring Waffle Flower.
Thank you all for watching.